Yeah, free, free for the moment and just uh, enjoying my summer, working out, rehabbing, all kinds of stuff. Make sure I'm ready for whatever the uh, future will take. What is the future going to bring in August? I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully a job, though. So. <laughs> Back overseas? Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chances are. Yeah. yeah. So where all be my 10th year? Play next year uh, I've had three uh, years in Germany, uh, one in uh, France, uh, one in uh, Belgium, uh, and then the D League uh, season. It might be. And a year as a GF. Uh, it might be a spot open with the Cavaliers. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even you can mess up a game like that, but they're not taking that many injury people. <laughs> the year as a GA was your best year, wasn't it? I think so. I had a blast. Yeah, wasn't it? But weren't we so good that year? How does that process work? I mean, you work with your agent. How do you hook up with the team? Uh, my agent uh, has uh, other individuals, or you could say agents in other countries that they work with. And uh, either they mention me or my agent drops my name to them and they just do their research. And if they want me to be there, they, they invite me. And if they don't, they just don't talk about it. What's the time? What do you know? What are you going to know? It can be any time. Literally. It could be next week where I've gotten offers, but. <laughs> nothing that I will, <laughs> nothing that I would want to do. So you got to stay in shape and be ready to go. Yeah, that's the fun part. Oh, <laughs> shape. How are you doing, Justin? Good. Oh, that's good. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you since what? Fairmont. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a couple. Sean, was a, what was the process? Getting over mentally, what happened to you? Uh, I don't really know. I can't tell you. Like it was. Um, how long did it take? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if I'm over. <laughs> I'm just trying not out. Seriously, not out. But uh, I have no clue. Like, it's just like I felt that uh, something happened. I tried my best to come back from it. I actually found a, a place where I can come back to and just, you know, rehab and relax and get my thoughts in order. That's why my GA year, see what I want to do. I love the coach, but I. I like love to play a little bit more, and it uh, helps that you know I had a kid, and I was like, yeah, I want to make a little bit more money. So, in turn, you know, I just decided to do a rehab and get stronger and get myself together and go play. I'm sure you wanted to prove something to yourself. Right? Yeah, I don't. I just don't want to go out in terms I didn't feel uh, I played well or I wasn't happy with the way I played. So, like, I went to the D League and then I got hurt, and I just didn't want that to be the end of the story more or less like oh he could have played but he got hurt you know, so. I'll continue to play I enjoy it do you ever ask yourself what might have been not in the past like four years <laughs> <laughs> so yeah everything's good I have a family I got two boys I'm super hyped and happy that they get to come with me overseas and watch me play and you know, they're into things. I'm a dad. I go to T-ball games now and stuff like that. So I'm having a <laughs> lot <laughs> Literally. So it's all good. It takes a Duke game. I mean, you got hurt. You guys were a comeback team that year. Yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs> that's what I mean. So, like, think about it. But uh, that definitely didn't go the way <laughs> we planned it to go. They were a really good team. And uh, they won. So, yeah. Cars dealt themselves. Justin's a Duke fan. Hey, man. Everybody, <laughs> everybody loves somebody. <laughs> everybody makes a mistake. Hey, man. Don't mess yourself up. Allow him in. <laughs> well, I think back to all some of those games. The Villanova game, especially, when you guys can do anything that season. Lock them down really the game. Like, well, yeah, man. I mean, great coaching. Uh, <laughs> a lot of luck. <laughs> like, it all, it's, it's all according to me. It just, we had the, uh, there was something about our team that when we were down, like, that's when we, uh, we all looked at, looked at one another and locked in and we knew we could come back and win a game at any point in time, no matter how much we were down. As long as it wasn't uh, some crazy number with like four minutes to go or three minutes to go, we felt we could come back. Does it seem like yesterday or a long time ago? Uh, I remember stuff, but I mean, that's my memory. <laughs> like, you know, like it could be, you know, it feels like yesterday for me, but like it could be, because that was probably like the last time I like, <laughs> was like healthy. You know, I remember everything that really said. That's a stupid question, but I just kind of wanted to ask you. The Big East tournament, yeah. the, senior, the, the shot against Georgetown, the yeah, championship yeah. game. Watching that highlight as many times over the years, you ever 
Dennis was wide open underneath the basket. Yeah. Did you ever see that? Or? I still can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, he, he, I remember he told me. And I was Did like, he? Oh, really? <laughs> And then I look at it from time to time when like people play it or whatever, and I still don't see it. Like, I just don't see it. So. Well, you can't see it with your eyes closed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there's something up there. It's a hell near and really that close. But, yeah, I would say that. But I still don't see it. <laughs> but, uh, so he brought it up a few times. Yeah, he, bro, he can't be brings up all the time. He's like, hey, you could have passed the ball to Dennis. Right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but he's a good dude, though. Yeah. Did you, did you call the Marquette one? Did you call that shot? Did you call any of your game winners? Once again, whatever the people tell you happened, it happened. Man. Way, I don't want to ruin their story. But if they say that's what happened, that's what happened. So it all worked out. It worked out that year. How do you feel your game has changed or developed since playing here in Morgantown to where you are now? Uh, I learned a lot more about the game. Uh, I felt uh, I felt I was always a smart player, but... I feel like I got to become a little bit smarter to make up for the. I was already a lack of athleticism, but uh, it was a little bit worse after the injury. So just becoming a, a bit smarter, learning what I can and can't do against, you know, more explosive uh, grown men as opposed to, you know, 18, 19 year old kids. And uh, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, regardless of injury or not. So I know how to maneuver and how to work my way into a game and uh, if I'm playing bad to stay out of the way. So <laughs> I'm smart enough to do that. So I mean oh excuse me, sorry. Right. So yeah, I mean it's just that's the adjustments I would say I had to make just learning the game a little bit. And being back here in Morgantown, not only for this event this weekend, but over the summer, what's it like to be back here, get a practice and play with some guys who are not only your former teammates, but other guys who played for Coach Hux as well? It's good. I mean, it's, just, it's always good to be around people that you know and you feel comfortable with and uh, you've all you've gone through things with. You know, uh, it's basketball. It's not, you know, like, something like a doctor or somebody else to save their lives. But at the same time, you know, we have situations that cause a ton of stress in games and things like that. And, we all come together and help one another out through those situations so you become closer through practices or God makes a mistake and the entire team has to flip a tire or have to do certain things. You you grow, you know, your camaraderie grows and these things grow and these are your friends and family now. So regardless of how many years pass, I was actually talking about this with Coach Martin, like regardless of how many years pass, these individuals tend to be some of the first people you call or talk to or see or want to see it because, you know, you've uh, had that, that relationship with them. So great to be back knowing that if you mess up, you don't have to go on the treadmill, right? Yeah, it's just true. I mean, that's, <laughs> a, that's a bright side. If I did, I probably wouldn't be here. I wouldn't come back. I'd probably go to the but He's a uh, coach. He's a really good dude. He's pretty cool. Allowing us to come back. You know, family thing. Just come back whenever you want to. You're always welcome. Arms up. Kind of thing. So that's important to have. How about a kid from Newark, New Jersey, winding up traveling the whole world? What you've got to say.